To export your images from Capture One into output ready formats like JPEG, PSD files, TIFF and so on, it makes a lot of sense to use uh, process recipes. And the benefit of using a process recipe is that you can set up parameters that you can always repeat and it also means you can run multiple process recipes at the same time so it's very efficient as well. So how do we make a new process recipe? Well first of all we're in the output tool tab which is normally the second to last tool tab in Capture One and in the first tool process recipes we'll hit plus to make a new recipe and for this we're going to output a JPEG which is say 2048 pixels wide and it's going to be in sRGB. So first thing, name your process recipe. In the tool underneath, this is where we set up the parameters for that recipe. So I'm going to make this JPEG. Uh, we can adjust our JPEG quality with the slider. It's going to be sRGB and it's going to be a certain width in pixels, which is going to be 20. 48 like so. So that sets up the parameters for this particular process recipe. If I click through the other recipes you see the parameters change like so. Now if you're on a Capture One catalog we have to define where are these images going to go and by default Capture One will look at what's set in the output location tool. So if I choose a folder here I can then add where I want them to go. So let's have a folder called catalog exports like so and set this one as the output folder. I can change the output naming of my images here but let's just keep them uh, as they are. So these are Sony files from an RX100 so we can see just the normal .arw denomination on the file itself. So now if I select all my images, Command A, and say process, these will get processed to that location. Uh, you'll see that the cog is white, like so. That means the process is finished for that image. If we just go down here, you see this one is orange. And then when the processing catch up, it goes to white. If we click on the small arrow here, then that will take us to our output location. And then we can see the final images coming in as they're processed out like so. Uh, if we just pick another one you can see the dimensions are set to 2048 wide for every single image that we've just processed. Now that's process recipes in its simplest form but you'll see in each recipe there's more tabs where you can also change different parameters uh, of the process recipes. So let's just explore one of these. I'm going to make a new process recipe and we call this Dropbox Share. I'm going to turn this recipe off. And then again, I'm going to do a, a JPEG quick proof this time. And this is a really fast export from Capture One. It's just using the preview that's already present that we generated when we imported images into our catalog or session. But in the file tab, I'm going to do something different. So you see the root folder is set to output location. As I said earlier, that means Capture One's going to put the images with whatever's specified here. But we can actually make a recipe that has its own unique location. So in the root folder option, I choose to select folder. I'm going to go to my Dropbox and choose that. Now also in uh, uh, the process recipe, you'll see a field here that says subfolder. So I can specify or ask Capture One to make me a subfolder also in my Dropbox. So I'm just going to make a folder called RX100, RX100 images, like so. So Capture One will make that folder for me so I don't have to specify it. Even though we have catalog exports uh, specified here in output location, Capture One's going to ignore that because, as we just said, we have Dropbox set uh, to the root folder. And if we want to double check, we can tap here and that will take us straight to that Dropbox so we can verify our location. So now when we start this process recipe, let's uh, select all, Command A or Control A is a good shortcut, and then click process. Those images will process nice and fast 
And if we go back to our Dropbox again, we can see Capture One's made us the folder RX100 images, Dropbox is syncing, and then our images are there like so. So don't forget with your process recipes, they can all go to one location, output location, if you have it set like so, or you can set them to go to individual locations. And you can also run multiple process recipes at any time, which makes it very efficient. And all your settings that you've specified in the basic tab of your process recipe is nice and consistent every time you process.